Hi, my name is Rohan. I am a Magento certified developer. Today I will tell you how to install Magento 2.2.4 onto a C panel. It's pretty simple. We can first we need to go to magento.com, find out the version that we need to install here. At this point, we'll be installing Magento version 2.2.4, which is the latest version. We need to select which option in which format you want to download it zip tar.gz or tar.bz2 so at this point i am choosing tar.zip file so just click on the download it will be downloaded on onto your system so then the steps would be go to the c panel open the file manager Yeah. Go to public HTML. I've already uploaded it into the uploaded, uploaded the zip file into my system because it's it's gonna take around three four minutes to upload because this is a heavy file, two fifty MBs. So once this file is uploaded, we just have to extract it in the public HTML itself. So here it is done. While extra extraction is being done, let's let's create a database for this for Magento. Open open the C panel. Go to MySQL database wizard. So give database a name. In my case, let's let's give it web app. Yes, the files are extracted now. Let's click on close. You can see all the files have come up here. If we need, we can delete this zip file if it is taking too much of space. So let it be here for some time. We'll delete it after our installation is complete. Let's go to the database. Choose a random password. I generally choose these complex passwords because it is easier. It's better for the security. I will store that in a text file. Go to the user. Now I need to provide privileges to the, this user. I have selected clearly all privileges here. You can see. Go to next step. That's all. So using this wizard. So I created a database. Now I need to put in, I need to actually configure the database now. So let's go from here. So my cPanel instance name is Rohan M2. .in. Look, I'm getting an error saying that the PHP version needs to be 7.0.2. So I need to set up the PHP version at this point. This, I have multiple PHPs installed in my cPanel instance. So let me choose it here.
this work. You can see my PHP version has been changed. I have four, five, four, five PHPs installed on my C panel. If you're stuck onto that, you can definitely ask you ask your server team to get it configured or upgrade your PHP to at least PHP version 7. Okay, here you can see that this PHP 7 version is being is showing. So now let's go to the front end, reload the page. Yes, so it's it's an automatic installation. So let's work. Start. Readiness check if you want to do a readiness check. Yes, what is the PHP version that we have in, in our system? So yes, I've cleared all these steps. Click on next. Now I need to configure these things. Database host name is. Sorry about that. The URL of eventual URL on which I'm configuring the store. You need to remove HTTP from this. Okay. So then I need to have the server username. So in my case, the username is this. Uh, we have already configured the database here. So, right. Let's go to cPanel. Using what is the database that we have? Here is a database name that we have. I'll copy that, put it over here. So, database server password. Yes, we'll, we'll fix, we we'll put it right now so that there is no confusion at the later stage. And next. Yes, so. Here we can choose the URL for admin. At this point, I will be making it as admin or maybe admin into this. Click on next. So you can put in the time zone. I'm sitting in India, so I'll be choosing India time zone. The rest is fine. Now I need to change, choose a username for admin. So the username would be Rohan admin. I need to pin down all these things so that we are not do not forget this is a new admin password would be uh, the email we need to put down put down the email address then i'll add a standard password Let's let's pick up a complex password. In this case, I'll choose the same password as my DB. You can have your own options. There is no mandate to choose this password.